All right, so let's start by how to hold the Dremel when you're Dremeling your dog's nails. I see people holding it like this. Don't do that. Choke up on it like this. You're going to have so much more control if you're choked up on it. Hi, everyone. This is my channel, Good Dog Grooming. A lot of the Dremels have this button, which is like a release. You'll learn to stay away from that because if you accidentally hit it, it like causes problems while you're Dremeling. Now, my technique for actually handling the dog's nail and the Dremel while I'm Dremeling, I kind of call it unofficially the thumb on thumb technique <laughs> so we're gonna use our thumbs so assuming you're right-handed all right you're gonna and then just pretend this is a dog's nail for now I've got my hand around the dog's paw and I'm gonna put my thumb my left thumb on the dog's toe and kind of close to the nail and I'm gonna use this hand to maneuver the dog's nail and I want you guys to bear in mind that you can move that nail around I'll show you a demo later on my dog so thumb on the dog's toe. Now your other thumb on your first thumb. This is gonna give you stability when you're bringing your Dremel head in and around and whatever ways you're doing to Dremel the dog's nail. All right, so I call that the thumb on thumb. And you're gonna, you know, it's kind of flexible, like you're gonna be able to place your Dremel thumb, uh, you know, other places if you need to, but for the most part, I just place it on my own thumb during most of the dremeling. That's step one, okay? Okay, so when you're using a dremel on a dog's nails, one of the big things that you wanna get good at is understanding how to vary the pressure because using stronger pressure will drive back the nail material more quickly. Using lighter pressure will help you kind of round the final edges. And you need to be able to have that variability, especially if you've got a dog with super thick nails, you need to be able to, you know, take off that material a little faster. In order to do this too, you wanna to be aware of kind of where the quick is. And so I'd love to give you this explanation as I always do to my trainees. So I'm gonna use this as sort of like a jumbo dummy dog nail. And I want you to picture, basically I, in my mind, picture the quick inside the nail a little bit like a pencil lead, but here's the deal. The pencil lead cheats a little bit down. It, it really kind of like, it's more down here, okay? So it's not in the center the way it is exactly in the center in a pencil. There's more material, the dead nail tissue, there's more of it above the quick than below, okay? And so what this means is that when you're removing material, I focus up high to the left, and to the right, and a little in the middle, but I tend to do a lot of material on this side, a lot of material on this side, and usually with higher pressure. I spend time going kind of around the quick, okay? And I do like to get the bottom kind of under the quick, because that's usually kind of like a pokey, sharp little part. But when I do, you know, I like I said, I usually go the top. I call this part kind of the helmet. Take a lot of the helmet off. Really drive that helmet back and you're going around the quick and almost basically just exposing it. And then with very light pressure, shaping the rest and kind of buzzing the bottom a bit to smooth it out. Here's how I have my trainees practice dremeling without the nervousness of like managing and handling a dog. Take any pencil, you're gonna practice on a pencil, okay? I want you to make this look like this. You can use any pencil, regular pencils, colored pencils, doesn't matter. The, cheapest thing you don't care about and um, have a pencil sharpener on hand if you want to use the same pencil and do it multiple times or you can have a pack of sharpened pencils and just do it multiple times but I literally like for several training days in a row will be like take your Dremel take this pencil make it round and I'll make them do that a couple of times and they're like, okay now we can like start our day it's a great way to get used to maneuvering the Dremel. It's a great way to practice your thumb on thumb, okay? You don't have to worry about hurting a dog or getting hair caught in the Dremel or anything. But, oh, I will say this, please wear a mask. There's like dust and lead, lead in particular. Well, you might get some lead jammed up in your, in the Dremel um, sanding head. You might need to use like a sacrificial sanding head for this or just be prepared to clean it out, especially if you use these if you use one of these metal ones, then you'll just need to clean it. You can see that I went ahead and did, there's a bunch of lead in there because I did one of these pencils. Let me, let me show you an example. Okay, 
Okay, so I brought my dog bender up here with me to help me demonstrate how the thumb on thumb technique looks on an actual paw. Okay, so I just, uh, I did this nail so far. I haven't done these. Um, I just want to show you, good boy bender. In my left hand, when I have this paw, I, you can manipulate these toes. Okay, so that's what I do. Um, more than you might think, okay? That's a mistake a lot of um, kind of new groomers make is that they think they, they just have to kind of leave everything where it is and work around it. But you can like bring, give yourself this toe if you need to work on it, okay? And I'll even move the Dremel um, sometimes and sometimes I'll move the nail, okay? Uh, in, a, in a certain way or both in combination, okay? So we're gonna be this is my this is my thumb on thumb technique. On this nail, I'm probably gonna start on this side, and then I'm gonna go to this side, and I'm working my way around the quick, but I always start up top because that's where more material is to take off. And I'm probably going to then with lighter pressure buzz underneath to take some of that jagged stuff away. Okay, and that's still under the quick there. The quick is really in the middle. When you drive towards the quick. Okay, so if you're just in the middle, just driving back, that's when they feel it, okay? And dogs don't, I've never met a dog that likes this process. Um, so you, there's just varying degrees of, you know, how good they are about tolerating it. So um, let me go ahead and finish this foot for you, and you guys can just watch. And we'll see if Bender will stay in one place for me. Good boy. Yes. Okay, stay right there, boo. Let's see this foot. Let's see that. That looks better. That looks better. You handsome boy. Who's a good boy? Who's the best boy? Oh, he's the best boy. Good boy. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Colleen, and if you'd like to see more, then please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you again. Bye, guys.